as I said, spicing up your Karosa, uh, the traditional Ashkenazi Karosa recipe, apple, walnut, cinnamon, and wine, was basically what the, the Eastern European Jews had. The only fruit that they had was the apples from the previous season, and I don't think it should limit you. Uh, the expression wandering Jew is an accurate reality of Jewish dispersion to many lands, particularly Spain and North Africa, where the Jewish community was introduced to spices and fruits that they never could have imagined. In Eastern Europe, those spices and fruits became the new ingredient of Sephardic haroset. The uh, five haroset, Turkish, uh, if you have uh, friends or guests who have not or spice allergies, it's perfect for them. Israeli, Yemenite, Libyan, Cuban, Sephardic Arosic balls. Uh, that's in honor of our daughter-in-law whose mother is originally from Cuba. And yes, I've made all of these at least at two seders. Turkish Arosic, one large navel orange with the peel, one box of yellow raisins, half cup of sugar to taste, cut the orange into the large pieces, put into a food processor with a steel blade, pulse into a thick, chunky mixture. Don't over process, you don't want it over too smooth. I don't use the sugar, depending on how much bitterness you can tolerate. That uh, is the amount of sugar. As I said, after the, the first year, people said, mm, this is just like orange marmalade. And to a large extent, it is. And the wonderful thing is, you know, we have relatives who have nut allergies and we have relatives who have uh, um, uh, spice allergies. And so, you know, particularly to cinnamon. So this avoids both. Israeli charoset, the um, apples, bananas, uh, peel of a half a lemon, peel of a grated orange, Date, ground pistachios, ground cinnamon, Passover wine, and matzo meal. And there are the directions. You know, if you don't use kineo during Pesach, substitute another note, uh, another nut, hazelnut, or pecan. One quick aside: the the rabbis that had a problem with kineo were the was the fear that the uh, when ground it might be mistaken for flour, wheat flour. Since pistachios are green, I don't know how they could make that determination. Delicious. The uh, a Yemenite haroset. The uh, figs, dates, I prefer medjool if they're uh, available because they're usually moister. Sesame seed, honey, ginger, coriander, and cayenne pepper. The, uh, obviously this one can have a bite at the end, a little heat. The, uh, I make this with the, the food processor. Uh, uh, and, um, you know, I refrigerated it up to for a, a, usually a day and serve at room temperature. Delicious, delicious. And obviously very different than the traditional Ashkenazi. Libyan Kharoset. This was one of the first where I started using a lot of different spices. Walnuts, pecans, almonds, raisins. Once again, dates. Dates were unknown of in Eastern Europe. Cinnamon, allspice, ginger, and nutmeg. Combine all the ingredients using a mortar and pestle or a food processor. It is a very thick uh, haroset and but delicious. Uh, this is from Jewish Cooking in America. Joe Nathan, who I always like to give uh, credit where I know the, where the recipe comes from. The um, and Cuban Sephardic haroset balls, uh, dried unsweetened mango, whoops, uh, dried unsweetened pineapple, almond slivers, which you toast, and then shredded coconut. And basically, what you're going to be doing is soaking the mango in hot water so that it has a little moisture, and then you're going to process the, the fruits. Uh, roll them into the um, uh, into the uh, uh, the fruits and the nuts. Roll them into bite-sized balls, and then uh, you'll coat them with the coconut. So these are small little balls. And I know in many of the African, you know, the North African tradition, you will find 
that uh, uh, haroset balls, whatever the ingredients, are frequently served rather than the, the, the large dish in which people take out of. And take, you know, take it out about 30 minutes before serving, the uh, delicious. Um, all of them make wonderful spreads even after the seders are uh, through. One of the things that I used to do when I was working was after the first two days of Pesach, when I would go back to work, I would bring matzah, uh, the leftover uh, charoset, as well as the, uh, my uh, hand ground um, crane, horseradish, and I would bring it and would offer it to the people at work. And um, many of them enjoyed that because it was, many of the non-Jewish, it was a, a wonderful test, taste sensation. Why did I do Sephardic when most of us have an Ashkenazi background? It is very likely that it was a Sephardic Jew hiding his identity who was the person who discovered America. Um, the, uh, I'm trying to think, um, yes. there, the, uh, there was, a, I'm trying to think of the, uh, the author um, who uh, wrote the best book about raising the question of whether uh, 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 Christopher Columbus was a Sephardic Jew. Uh, these Sephardic horizons celebrate the fact that we have been a people who have settled and uh, contributed to many countries and cultures. They use spices which enhance our celebration Yes, they, the most important thing, they taste better and much more interesting. And a minor thing, my mother was from Prusna, Poland. And one of the historical facts is Sephardic Jews settled in there. So I may, as a result of um, some, some untold family history, have a, um, a bissel of this heritage. Obviously, I'm more than willing to provide... Um, this slide deck so that you can have the recipes should you should you be adventuresome enough to uh, make it. Um, obviously you may need some things that are not on the traditional um, grocery list uh, that you've done for uh, Pesach, but I can assure you that it will contribute significantly to the, uh, the interest of your Seder and the holiday. Any questions? Mm. No, I, uh, I ain't gonna make it. Oh, the uh, listen. I know that there. You know, if if, if for ninety years you've been eating one kind, uh, <laughs> part of the part of the the uh, the history and the um, uh, the custom of the holiday is uh, a traditional Ashkenazi, um, and so yeah, yes. Um, well, I, you know, I saw uh, similar things in Central Asia. Also. Right, right. Uh, you know, because that's a Sephardic, even though it's right. pretty far from right. Spain. Turkey. It's, right, but Turkish. It's along the Silk Road. Yeah, and it has the Turkish uh, influence, influence, although they did use nuts a lot there because, you know, Central Asia is actually the center of tree nut biodiversity. So... We got great walnuts and pistachios and all those kinds of things, but uh, but uh, saw similar things uh, there. And since I <clears throat> have been Jewish since 1994, I didn't have the Ashkenazic or Sephardic <laughs> uh, tradition, so I could kind of decide what you know. I'm both. The first time I had to host host the Passover uh, seder, and I do all the cooking. I made uh, Peruvian food. Right. So, uh, the, uh, as long as there was no kidney oat in it. Uh, right, right. And the, um, you know, and as I said, you can, uh, you can adapt the uh, Israeli, you know, uh, don't use the, um, uh, the pistachio and uh, use a, a, another nut, that, you know, other than walnut um, to give it um, a delicious taste. And literally... It, they are all delicious throughout the week. The, um, you know, if you're, if you've got um, uh, people Plus that aren't, cra what, if you, if you, you've got people that aren't crazy about matzah, uh, with uh, spread these fruit and nut 
uh, and spice mixtures, and they they really are delicious. Um, and uh, so the um, I, I hope I hope you'll take the plunge. Be adventuresome. You know this is a obviously this is a perfect year to to try it when many, most of us will not be dealing with uh, uh, large crowds at our Passover Seder. Um, you know, we may have, we may have people in, from six or seven different houses in different par parts of the country that will be participating. Um, and so we don't have to worry about whether they're going to like or dislike the food that we serve. Any other questions? Yep. Very Thank, good. You, Al. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Al. Thank very you. Very interesting. Okay. Definitely very good. We'll try some of these. Okay. Okay. And just send, send me an email and I'll send you the pack. You know, all, all I need, it can be, the, the subject can be harosit, however you spell it. The, um, <laughs> and, uh, um, and uh, as I, I said, you know, t today's Washington Post, uh, not the Washington, today's uh, uh, Washington Jewish Week. Uh, literally, the, the articles were uh, one of a, a, a similar Turkish haroset and a bunch of other Sephardic dishes um, for, for Pesach. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we've, done, we've done some of the other dishes in the main course, and they're wonderful. They're wonderful. The, um, and uh, so be adventuresome, whether, whether that's part of your family history or not. So, Alan, as, as, as we've uncovered other Jewish communities, you know, like Uganda and Ethiopia, right. has, have they had any unique there? Did they have Hiroshi, you know, and, or, or was it, is it similar or is it not? The, the, I'm not? I'm not sure. There is a wonderful, and if, if what I can do is I can send it to you. In the Joan Nathan uh, uh, cooking in the United States, she has, a, she has two stories about the Civil War and Jewish soldiers wishing to uh, to celebrate, and one in particular, it was a uh, it was a um, a union a group of Union soldiers that were out in the battlefield, and they asked their commander if they could get matzah, and the 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 commanding officer was able to get them a barrel of matzah, and fortunately, within the the, the barrel were a number of haggadot. So that they had uh, they had the the service, and they figured, well, what are we going to do for the for the the seder plate, you know? And uh, they didn't have wine; they did have uh, 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 cider, uh, you know, um, uh, alcoholic cider. They they couldn't find crane, but they said they found a um, a uh, a weed that was as bitter as any weed or any uh haroset had ever been and for the uh, uh, any crane and for the haroset they put a brick you know as a, a recollection but i have not seen yet i should go searching i have not seen whether you know the ugandans had uh, the uh, abu daya had a traditional um uh haroset that was uh, traditional to them. Obviously, we're dealing with a community that has really been uh, hundred years, approximately hundred years old. Um, so the, uh, but I, yeah, I'll be glad to do that. And if I find it, you know, when you ask for the the, uh, uh, the PowerPoint presentation, I'll forward it to you. Sure, sure. Well, that's great. We thank you very much. This is thank great. you. Thank you. Thank you. Shabbat shalom and chag, uh, chag, 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 chag. Good yeah, don't, don't forget tomorrow night, 5.30 Kiddush Club Eastern Time, 6 o'clock Kabbalah Shabbat with Naomi Weiss. Okay, looking forward okay. to it. Great.